Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so I just wanted to record a little bit of a quick update for you guys, uh, a two-part update. One, I just wanna let you know my plans for the channel for like around the next two weeks. Um, but two, I do recognize that the Oracle section of our weekend edition of Morning Coffee got cut out. I honestly have no idea why that happened. From as far as I can remember, from when I finished the video, my mic was still on when I when I like stopped the video, um, and it's working right now. <clears throat> I haven't changed the batteries since, so I really don't know what happened. Um, so with that said, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to I'm going to. Um, read our oracle cards for the weekend again now unfortunately i won't be able to like really reconnect the dots um in the way that i would had uh during the reading because i don't i really don't remember what i was saying at that point um and i haven't I haven't gone back to like rewatch it or anything i do remember though because i did uh, i i did look back on it briefly to see you know if in fact like it was my mic or something or maybe it's just something got messed up during the upload and I did find that it was my mic um, but I do remember one snippet where the Queen of Wands and the strength card were in reverse um, and I do remember talking about how you know there was a bit of a sense of overzealousness potentially but there was also a lack of belief and lack of faith um, and lack of self-belief and all that kind of stuff and that really aligned with the oracle cards that we had okay so let's go into that really quick um actually no first what i want to do is i want to give you guys a little bit of an update on what i'm going to be doing with the channel moving forward and then if you like you can stay tuned and we can talk we, i'll just i'm just going to read the oracle cards because there's three of them and i remember in the reading i didn't i i i basically i paraphrased a lot of it like I, I channeled it intuitively but then i did read one of them but i'm going to read all three of them here just so that you guys can get all three of those messages and then hopefully connect the dots from the original video i apologize i really don't know why that happened but nt way for the channel moving forward um i do have a cup of coffee here he <laughs> um so for the channel moving forward um I'm going to take the next two weeks off, kinda. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be doing morning coffee for the next two weeks, for the rest of June. Um, but, uh, and all of this is really in service of being able to finish my project for school, which is almost done. Um, I really only have, I was able to get a lot of the mixing done. Um, and, well, okay, if any of you are interested in a knowing, I don't really know if I explained it to you, but my final project for this course that I'm in, which is an audio engineering um, and music technology course, I, uh, we were charged with taking a film clip or a clip from like a TV show or something like that, uh, just like three, three minutes or so worth of time and um, recreating the dialogue, the sound and everything else for it other than like all the audio, rec recreating all the audio for it. Um, and it's been a really awesome, awesome, really fun project. It's a lot of work. It is so much work. And it's something that I had never personally done before. So it was really daunting. I remember in the beginning of the project when I, um, I, I had chosen my scene I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because um, I'm going to see if I can try and like share it somewhere because it's going to be um, worth, you know, some real like some some real footage or like something that I can help can use in the in the future to help get work. But um, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you guys which scene it is because I do believe my parents watch my channel and I already told them that I'm not telling them they have to wait to see. Um, but it's it's a significant it's a significant choice for me and like my parents at least. But anyway, um, I remember when I was beginning the situation and I was looking at how much work I had to do, I was literally having a panic attack, saying, "Holy shit! How the hell am I going to get all this done?" But 
nonetheless, it's happening. So I'm almost done. All I have to do is write the, write the music, finish writing the music for it, um, and then that will be finished. And it's due on the 29th, so I have the next two weeks to finish that, <clears throat> two, weeks from yes two weeks from yesterday, actually. So I'm going to take as much time as I can to do that. So I'm not going to be doing morning coffee. Um, for the rest of the month. However, I am going to be doing, I'm going to be starting on the July monthly readings starting next week, not this coming week. Today is the 16th of June that I am recording and then uploading this video. Um, so uh, the following week, I'm going to start recording the readings for the for July for the Zodiacs. And then as soon as I get out of school, which we're looking to be done on July 3rd. Um, and then I've been planning a trip um, with a friend of, a very dear friend of mine to, to, like we could be leaving that day to go on a, like a trip and I probably, uh, if all goes well or if everything goes through, I'll be back around the 10th of July. Um, I might start up morning coffee then, but also I'm thinking I might want to just take that time to go away on vacation with some friends for a little bit, for like, you know, a few days. Um, and then come back and get back into the swing of things. And as soon as I get back from that, um, I will, uh, the personal readings will be officially open. I may just start taking bookings starting the 1st of July. I don't know yet. Um, please stay tuned to the channel. I will be updating. I am not disappearing. I swear to you guys, I am not going away forever. This is not me like making this thing and then all of a sudden deciding when the time comes, oops, actually, I don't want to do this at all anymore. That's not the case. I just need a break. <laughs> I need a break. I need a vacation. Um, and I need some time to really work on my project because as I said in morning coffee on Friday, um, this is a major culmination. This really is a major culmination. Um, and so I just want to take this time to decompress and close out the cycle. Yeah. So that's the plan. Um, please stay tuned. Uh, I will be updating. Um, please stay tuned to my Instagram page if you haven't done so already or my Facebook page. Um, Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. Facebook is uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711, I think. I don't know. It doesn't matter. All the links are in the description box, or you can go to my homepage and on like the banner, there are, uh, there are like little linky buttons that you can press to get you there. Yes. Okay. So with that said, um, for those of you that don't want to listen to what the Oracle cards have to say, this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you have a great week coming, moving, coming up. I go, hope you have a great rest of the month. I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yes? For those of you that would like to hear the Oracle, read, the Oracle cards, this is you. Yeah? Okay, so we had three cards that came out. Um, the, fir uh, uh, the first here is, yes, I'm gonna do it this way. The first is faith in the process. Now, this is what was we were talking about with the, um, the pride and the ego, says spirit, yes, but the overzealousness, but also um, it, it has to do with that, but also the self-belief, um, needing to take more pride in yourself, needing to believe in yourself more, needing to have more confidence. It's as if whatever is going on in the situation, um, you're needing to have faith in the process, no matter what it looks like. Uh, I'm definitely resonating that with that. And the other thing that was coming through during that reading was that, you know, the fact that I, I think this might have been able, this might have been caught by the by the microphone. Let me just make sure that this is working. Is it still? Yeah, we're still working. Okay, all right, just making sure. Um, but yeah, I was saying that these messages often really resonate with me too. Um, and I was resonating with that as well. And all of this was coming through and it was making a whole lot of sense. And it's kind of scary because I don't, I, I really try not to put my own energy into these, um, but it just happens. And so what can you do? I mean, I don't know. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to read this card first, card number 32, faith in the process. Now, the other thing about this, this is the sacred rebels Oracle. I love this, this Oracle deck, but it can be, the d descriptions can be pretty long sometimes, but here we go. I'm going to read this. And then we're going to move on to the next one. Yeah. 
I apologize for really not be able, being able to connect the dots as much as I would have been on Friday, but it is what it is. You can't really, can't really change it. Okay, here we go. No matter how powerful we are, we have much courage and strength, or I'm sorry, no matter how powerful we are, how much courage and strength we have, there are times when we can't quite move ourselves along to the next phase of life or creative exploration. At such times, we need some divine intervention, a little help in pulling our trolley along, so to speak. We are at the edge of our own limits and have no more personal resources. We might be left only with one spiritual power, that of faith. Fortunately, that is enough. As unlikely as it may seem, the invisible help from the universe is often more powerful than the physical efforts of a thousand men. That is because the invisible help cannot be, cannot, uh, the, I'm sorry, that is because the invisible help is not limited by physical laws. It can shift, bend, and move in ways that defy limitation. It can affect, evoke, and influence situations through invisible but undeniably pervasive means. Or, I'm sorry, persuasive means. You are in a situation where you cannot, quote, set right the course of events all by yourself. This is not an indication that you have done something wrong, nor does this suggest that you are not strong enough. It is a sign that there is something bigger unfolding in your life, and your willpower will be supplemented by the power of life itself. Sometimes a bigger plan needs to manifest for the benefit of humanity and the earth. You need to shift your perspective to realize that you are part of the greater unfoldment of life, that your individual life serves the greater plan, and that you are not separate from its genius. This is what is happening now. You happen to be instrumental to the greater plan, and as such, you need to accept your position and be moved while also being empowered and protected as you make personal progress through your role in that grander scheme. This is a time for humility and trust. You need complete faith in the process and events that are happening. There is nothing to worry about. You will be moved most fully and easily and with the most grace and assistance through your faithful surrender. Ironically, it is through complete surrender in total faith that we become the most empowered. When we are no longer trying to impede the perfection of the greater plan, we can be aligned with and moved by the process. Have faith in the, in the benevolence of life, rather than harboring the suspicion that life is seeking to catch us out, have a joke at our expense, or carelessly toss us about as though we mean nothing. Then we can re relax a little. Having faith in the process gives you space to be curious about what is taking place and to relax enough to be open to what you are most in need of, even if we aren't exactly sure what that is or how it can happen. The guidance from this oracle comes direct from the greater source of life itself. There is now an opportunity for you to be moved from the situation you are currently in to the next chapter in your life story. You can't do it on your own. It is too big a shift. It needs the grace of life to intervene on your behalf. You will need faith though. You may feel as though the wheels of your trolley are coming off or that they are a bit rickety, but you must also understand that the voice of life is now coming straight to your heart with this message. I have resources you know not of. It is safe to trust in my ways and my wisdom, for I love you and I am guiding you into all that is rightfully yours. Know that what is rightfully yours is what your heart truly desires and you need not fear loss. Nothing is meant to come to you I'm sorry, nothing that is meant to come to you will be denied and it is safe for you to let go and allow me to move you. Through faith, peace is restored and you are able to know that you are able to know this and perhaps have some fun in the process. I, I swear you guys, this, these three cards are really quite resonant with that reading with my life personally at this time, and also even with what's going on with the channel, like me having to take this break. And I mentioned before when I started, when I, when I first mentioned that I was gonna take a break, I was like, I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't know if I really should be doing this. I mean, like two weeks is a long time. I'm really not trying to like disappear on you guys, but they literally just said that to me. As I was saying this to you, I, I, as I was just saying, Two weeks is a long time. I really don't know if I should, I don't really don't want to be di di disappearing from you guys. They literally said, 
faith in the process. Okay? Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. So, card number 25 is next, and that is Release the Dark Wound and Let Love Live. And this was actually the card that I read during the reading. Okay, so here we go. If we detach something from its source too soon, trying to force it to become what it is not yet ready or willing to become, we can unintentionally sap it of its strength and kill it. There is a dark wound in the, in the consciousness of humanity which demands perfection and denies process. If you are thinking of publishers before you have even written the book, if you are comparing your unfinished song idea to the latest best-selling pop release, if you have decided you are not good enough or worthy enough to succeed before you've given it everything you've got and asked for divine help, then this dark wound has you in its grasp. You have to let go of the, dark, of the death grip of perfectionism and let yourself and your ideas live. Love is abundant, creative, and inspiring. It moves us so much more joyously and creatively than fear. You are being asked to honor the path you are... I'm sorry. You are being asked to honor the path of your own love. What inspires you? What feels exciting, joyful, and perhaps even rather different? Let that live. Release the dark wounding of false belief. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who never nearly been, who, I'm sorry, there are countless stories of vastly, vastly, wow. Sorry guys, I'm having trouble reading this morning. Let's try this again. <laughs> uh, ba, 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 ba. There are countless stories of vastly successful artists who very nearly binned the project that was, make, that was the making of their career because of the despair fostered by their own dark nature. They doubted. They were uncertain. Was their work any good? Was it useless? They struggled to believe in the right of a work to come to life, whether it was accepted, revered, or rejected by others or not. They nearly lost their work to fear. Undoubtedly, there have been many times when this has actually happened and the work was not saved, not allowed to live. Do not let this happen to you. Whether something is meant to be a commercially oriented venture or a more personal creation for your own therapeutic healing, it must be allowed to be without judgment, without criticism, even without premature evaluation. It must be allowed to be what it is and only time, love, patience and attention will reveal it if you have oh wait no okay we're stopping there because then it's it's pulling in a bunch of other cards that we have not drawn in this reading so yes now finally finally we have card number 31 which is trust yourself Here we go. This is a beautiful card. Look at how beautiful that is. All the colors and the animals and all that. I love it. I love it. Trust yourself. You are wise. You know how to grow even without knowing how you know. Like the ancient forests, spectacular galaxies, and the acorn that becomes the oak, there is a natural intelligence for growth that is beyond logical reason. It just happens. At the deepest levels, you are governed by this force that is so palpable, it liter literally shapes the world. At the same time, it is so invisible that sometimes we forget its presence and worry that our minds have to work everything out for life to happen and for us to be all right. We can become unnecessarily anxious about our affairs and how life will unfold. This oracle brings the message that you are growing. You really are, don't doubt it. Even if you don't see it yet, remember that so much is happening when the seed is still unbroken in the ground. Below the earth, it is summoning up all the might, power, and force it needs to push above the topsoil and burst up into the light. It is essential for anything good to happen later on. Yet, we don't see any of that. We just have to trust that things will happen when the time is right. You are also being asked to trust in yourself. You know how to grow. 
Don't overthink things. It won't help you. Don't worry so much. You're doing a great job in this game of life. When you trust yourself, you relax and you can heed your own wisdom, insight, and messages much more clearly and easily. This oracle comes with particular guidance. You have a big destiny this lifetime and much to experience. Sometimes you make the error of judging something that is unpleasant as negative or a mistake. It isn't. It's just part of your great hunger for experience. It doesn't mean you have to have a lot of it, but when you do, don't shame yourself for it. Simply let it be. Maybe it's just fertilizer for your next step on the path. It's all part of your life process and, and it's all a sign of growth. This oracle is also telling you not to resist any points of instability in your life. This even applies to your most treasured relationships or creative projects. That instability is just a growing pain because more consciousness, more love, and more light wants to infiltrate and pervade all parts of your life. The instability is not a sign of sickness, but growth. So don't fret. Instead, choose to flow and grow. So perfect. I mean, this is like really on point with my life right now. So I can only imagine how on point it may be for all you beautiful people out there. So there you have it. Uh, I apologize for it not working the first time, but here we are again. Um, here it is now. I love you guys so much. Uh, I look forward to connecting with you again. Um, it's going to be a relaxing two weeks, kind of. Because it's not even like I'm not really doing anything. I still have a lot to do. But I will be back soon. Yes, I will be back in July. Please stay tuned. Stay, uh, stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to my Instagram mostly. I, do, I, I go through Instagram and then I just post things to Facebook from there. But yeah, stay tuned. I'll probably like pop on here or there to do a live or whatnot, whatever. But yeah. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your June and I look forward to, to seeing you for the July monthlies. Yes. Take care. Mwah! Bye.